Hi, welcome to Potato Fire Reviews. Today, I'll share my experiences with the Rotel A12 MK2 Integrated Amplifier. Recently, I really wanted to upgrade my amplifier to something more modern so I can experience a different sound. The two main features I was looking for is a silver color and a class AB circuitry. After researching for a while, I decided to purchase the Rotel a12 mk2 which has a msrp of 1200 dollars the face plate is of a brushed aluminum silver finish which is very sleek and gorgeous it's rated at 60 watts at 8 ohms and 120 watts maximum at 4 ohms on the back there are five rca inputs which includes a phono input a Bluetooth module, two optical and two coaxial inputs. There are four sets of speaker terminals as this amplifier allows you to AB your speakers and they can actually be used simultaneously while using your headphones. There is a remote which is very functional, made of plastic and has no backlight and can control the Rotel CD14 MK2. Rotel is known for making high quality amplifiers and although this is one of their least expensive products, it's of excellent value for the price and has ton of features. Some of the strong points of owning this amplifier are the built-in Texas instrument DAC and moving a magnet phono preamp is really, really good. And in my opinion, no need to upgrade. It has tone controls, which I do use a lot of times to fine tune my music to my liking. Finally, Rotel has a five year manufacturer warranty. Other brands in this category, such as Cambridge and Denon only honor three years. For the big question, how does it sound? Every time you see an article or feature about Rotel, they always brag about their in-house manufactured toroidal transformer, which helps to produce a clean, pure sound. I've owned this amplifier for over three months and used it for over a hundred hours, and this is my findings. The sound produced from the A12 MK2 is neutral. Treble was clean, refined, and crisp. Mid-range was detailed and adequate and not forward in any way. Bass was controlled and tight. There was no background noise or hum coming from this amplifier. I paired it with two sets of neutral speakers, the Arendel 1961 Tower and the Polk R100 bookshelf speakers. The A12 is a wonderful match with the Arendel, which has a huge soundstage and excellent center imaging. There's a song called Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton, which sounded so soulful and clean. I would just sit back and feel the music in my veins. I did have some drawbacks of the Rotel A12 MK2. My rhythmic subwoofer did not integrate well with the amplifier. I used the pre outs to connect my subwoofer and for some reason, the bass produce was a bit sloppy and not as accurate as expected. The USB type A port on the front only works with iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Personally, I think this port should be on the rear of the amplifier as it's a bit distracting on the front. When comparing the Rotel to other amplifiers, so far I have reviewed and owned the Arkham SA20 and the Emotiva TA2. The Arkham has a completely different sound as it is a warm sounding amplifier, which means the bass is boosted. The TA2 is a more powerful amplifier, but has a low hum and not as clean sounding as the A12 MK2. One of the amplifiers that I was considering buying is the Denon PMA 1700NE, which kind of looks like an address, but unfortunately it does not have a sub out or pre out. And I wanted this feature because I do use subwoofers to enhance my music. 
Most people in the audio hobby aim to get a neutral sound and this amplifier delivers that sound signature. I would recommend the A12 MK2 for someone who wants an amplifier, which you can connect to a lot of devices, such as a laptop, iPhone, streamer, and turntable. Finally, don't underestimate 60 watts per channel. This is adequate for most listening rooms. Overall, this is an impressive amplifier. It's of solid build quality, actually weighs 20 pounds, has tons of features, and to keep my video short, I focused on what was most appealing. I also did not use a lot of features that are on this amplifier, such as home theater bypass, Bluetooth, and Rune via PC USB. After I started using a dedicated streamer, I don't find the urge to use Bluetooth unless it's in a vehicle. I paired the Wii Mini with this amplifier and connected it via an optical cable. If you are someone who likes to experiment with different external DACs, consider the Rotel Tribute, which is $400 cheaper. Fun fact, there's a Rotel RA12, which looks a bit similar to this amplifier, which was released in 2013. To see more videos like this, consider subscribing and feel free to express your opinion in the comments. Until next time, cheers.